So if we click File, you'll notice a whole array of options. So I can start a new project. I can create a new project using a video wall template. And that's really useful if you plan to have um, screens for your artwork. I can import media. I can import 3D objects, etc. Edit. I can get my basic copy and paste functions, undo, redo, etc. So within the project, this is another way where you can add triangles, or you can add quads or lines or circles, etc. Just like you can do in the left hand panel. I can also add a DMX line in and more on that in another tutorial. Controls, again, I've got kind of, I can edit my keyboard controls, I can e edit MIDI controls, DMX controls, OSC controls. We're starting to get into a little bit more advanced mad mapper territory there and i will add that tutorial into this series at a later date but if i start to talk about it now it might get a little bit confusing same with cues we'll talk about those later because we've not talked about cues and scenes so view i can view my um, output my output preview or a dual view at the minute i've got it in a dual view which is where i can see my input and my output if i click over to output you'll notice that I can output my um, screen into different ways. So I can import outputs or I can export outputs. So if you look at the bottom of this menu system, so exporting outputs is exporting the screen. So it exports all of my um, media and my assets, um, but it doesn't export it as a video. You can't export or you can't save MadMapper as a video file ready to use somewhere else in an editing program, for example. Um, there are ways to do that, and I will talk about that. Um, but before we do one really quick way, you could do a full preview and you could screen share. And then you can, um, if like me, you're an editor as well, you can bring those visuals into an editing program. Let's just move over to tools. So tools, this is really interesting. And you may use this, you may, you may not use this, but spatial scanner and LED scanner. So what you can do is once you've got your projector and your laptop set up, um, on site, you can connect a, a camera to it, so something like a Canon 5D, and ManMapper will see that as an interface and it will scan like a LiDAR scanner or a, an LED scanner in this case, will scan your surface over so a building, for example, and it would give you almost like a 3D depth map that you can then work with. You can come away, you can then projection map onto that depth map that you created, go back, and as long as your projector is in the same position, you can then project all of your work. So you don't really need to be on site for hours at a time now. And that's really, really interesting. Again, should you have the means to do that? And there's a couple of options. So you can, you know, if you click material library, that brings up your materials. Materials editors where you can edit them, etc. cetera. Um, and then you've got a mad light recorder. So if we just click that, because I don't have too many things connected right now. There you go, so I can then record to a DMX output, for example, so I can record sequences. Down at the bottom, this is interesting, export to Minimad. So what is a Minimad? Well, that's a really great question. I'm just gonna jump out of this program and just jump over to here. So Minimad is another product from GarageCube, the guys that invented MadMapper. And essentially, uh, Minimad is a hardware companion, so you that you can use almost as a playback system. So what you can do is you can export your entire finished project to a mini mad, which looks like this. So it's it's a little um, box that's got kind of USB and Ethernet outputs. So you can record your sequences in there and then you can take that on site. So that's perfect if you're doing a static projection or you're doing a gallery installation and it needs to be there for a while. You've also got basic key controls on the top. So if you just scroll down, you can have a quick look and you can connect your different projectors to it. And it's just powered off a standard uh, USB plug, but it has, an, has a HDMI out as well. Um, I have one of these and I, because I do gallery installation and that's really interesting. Um, so you don't always have to have a laptop present and whilst we're here, I'm just going to move over to this. So LED kits, we haven't mentioned this yet. And again, I'll do a tutorial on this as I will with Minimad separately. But um, Garage Cube also do um, a series of LED kits, which are down here, as you can see. And you can buy different versions and different 
scales of them. But let's just click one and have a look. Let's just click this one. So this is a starter kit, and this starter kit gives you an array of options. So you get kind of all of this stuff in here. So they're not cheap. You know, that's uh, nearly 700 euros. But they're really interesting. And what you can do with these is you can then, if we go back to Mad Mapper, you can use your line um, quad to create lots of line light installations and have this installation hardware that you can build up in different ways. So that's some periphery stuff that you can use with Mad Mapper um, to take your projection light art to a different level. Again, we're getting a little bit more advanced with that. So I will do a separate tutorial on using the Minimad and using the LED lights, etc.